they better start doing two ops again if they want to reach 100 operators. I don't think Siege will ever go back on that, which sucks because the devs kept, you know, saying over and over again, they're like, we are removing two operators and a new map every season so we can focus on making more content elsewhere. And where's the, the content? We haven't gotten like anything. There's been almost no balancing changes all year. We've had a drought of elite skins recently. We haven't had an elite skin in I think two month months when normally we have one every month and a half or month. Okay, we got clash. Yeah, big big lack of content. I actually really like this card background. I think you have to pay for that like forty dollar bundle in order to get it though, so I will definitely not be getting it. I'll get hatches, because I feel like in these low ranks, no one else does. We need to get them. And then I'm going to try to sit on that box. I forgot I should go a zombie for this strap, because a zombie can at least block the vision from yellow stairs. God, pressed four by accident. Oh my God, it worked! It did. It helped me. Good job, me making mistakes. I <laughs> can't believe that actually helped me. Because I guess it destroyed the pegboard, which was blocking me from getting here before. Okay, now we wait. We don't do anything else until they come through garage. Maybe we throw a few of those down. Really hope that they don't come through backside. Man, they lost somebody? And no one's coming this way? <laughs> Why? Oh, oh. Prodigal son returns. Okay, he got the one camera. Please push here. Well, I couldn't do the slow peak strat. God, I whiffed so hard. Hmm. They were in the other site. You heard them. I'll rip the strat. I can't do it again, but... I see you. That was the fastest turnaround of he's planting bro to good shit. Ballsy to just assume it was a fake out, uh, especially with 10 seconds left, but it worked. I'm sad I couldn't get a bunch of them with that hiding strap, but it did work better that time. So you got to impact the pegboard because if you don't impact it, you can't get on there. 
I also forgot another requirement is you actually do need the Varsity Gaming Charm, which you can get for free by subbing to my Twitch channel with Twitch Prime or use $5. And once you sub once, you get the charm forever. I play Pulse from below. I can't believe I whiff so many shots on the uh, Maverick. In my defense though, MP5K is annoying because it doesn't have the vertical grip or horizontal or what's called angled grip, so the recoil is a little bit more unreliable. That being said, I should still be able to control it at this point. below but I gotta try not to get spotted by drones. Wait, it's the silver, no one's droning. I just wait. Impact the what board? The peg board. That's what they're called. You put pegs in them and then you hang shit on. We're not talking about pegging, that's what your mother does. And you can't melee or shoot it? I don't know. I guess we can check on another round. Oh shit. Press the body. Unfortunate. I just love Dex, bro. Finally back after a year of being gone. Glad to see you still streaming. Hmm, I am too low. If I aimed a bit higher, could have headshot and then could have gone for the revive maybe. To at least bait my teammate. Um, so they just had people just, you know, jump right into sight. Not great for us. How I feel about Stadium coming into ranked? I mean, we don't know for sure that it's Stadium. You know, they could bring in, like, the, the Sugar Fright map. But with Stadium... I mean, a lot of us had said for a while that we wanted maps to at least be like that. Less clutter, more, uh, more clean surfaces. But... With Stadium coming out, it's basically just going to be mishmashes of other maps. So it's like, is that really going to be much of an improvement? Uh, I don't know. No one's going to notice that. This is low ranks. camera just to watch this site. I swear I heard another set of footsteps. Guess not.
But one stolen repel. I assume they're not dumb enough to not have a claymore one here. No matter you go. Valkyrie, above you. Hmm. She already ran down. Unfortunate. Is she in the skylight or is she on the steps? Steps. As long as she's on steps. Oh. She swung on him. Close to it down. That's a down, right? She must have been down. Wait, no, she was still up? How? She was already low HP when I shot her, or she had at least been hit before. And then the Malusi hit her probably like four or five times. I wonder if they're gonna spawn peek. They didn't seem that good that they would do shit like that, but I guess you don't have to be good to spawn peek, that's the thing. Jumped out. Wait. Finka opened that window and then didn't see him standing in front of it. Oh my god. Let's see, I know for a fact that wasn't opened by Oryx. Oh my god. What level are they? 165. Yikes. Oh, my teammate just cost us the round. Oh, well, my death at least. Hopefully not the round. Hopefully Kanye's left nut can clutch up. One in Visa. Back. Just kind of staring at nothing. Unfortunate. Okay, well hopefully my teammate doesn't open up a window right next to me and just let them jump out. That would be nice. Secure area ranked. Yo, I was a secure area demon. Those were the good old days. Okay, so zombie and... I saw someone else. I'm gonna actually just make sure. I don't trust this enemy team. My Thatcher didn't care. He just fucking ran right for it. spot. Everyone's dead. Oh my god. The fire spread down to me. I think that was on yellow stairs. 
It was. How does the, how does the fire spread through that? Explain that to me. All right, I did nothing that run other than open up sight. My team actually destroyed them. Just to correct something, mute's voice. Them posting the exploits actually does not help you be fix it faster. Uh, that is a common misconception. Something that I've talked about before. Where I was like, eh, maybe we should post this because like then they're aware of it. But generally, people don't realize like the devs are actually aware of, of a lot of these things before we are. It's just harder to fix. And then when people start posting about it and start telling everyone, hey, you can do this, then everything just gets ruined and the devs are still on the same timeline. They can't really do anything. All posting the exploits does for the events is just ruin the event for everyone else because then all they're going to do is people are just going to run that shit and ruin the event. Annoying. Oh, that's not Doc. Wait, oh, that was Rook. I thought it was Doc over there, that's why I screamed, but I, was, I couldn't see because of the fucking car. It's good coordination for me and Zofia, we didn't even communicate, we just did it. for some reason. No ones. My team just went LMGs and then... Actually, no. no my think is not LMG. But our Zofia went LMG and now we're just destroying the enemy team. When even the, uh, the low ranks are affected by the LMG meta... So I assume they're going to do the same thing. They're going to have like Pulse, Oryx, and someone else on the first floor protecting from below for anyone who tries to run in. So my plan is to go through Garage, come up yellow, and then kill them in Piano. So we know they have an Azami and a Lesion, which means the last two are clearly going to be Pulse and Oryx. I just love decks, bro. Teammate test. I hate when the glass is broken. So someone's downstairs. They destroyed my drone that was right there. Hold below to make sure no one C4s my team. I don't know exactly where it is. I whipped it. I goofed it. Thorn by desk. Valkyrie was in between sites. They said the Bro, I haven't done anything. My team is just walking through them. I've just kind of been here. Okay. My team is apparently just a stacked team of silver gunners. They turned it on when we were down one to three. 
They are going to probably go on Windows a lot, just like last time. I think I'll do the Valkyrie Roam. Do I have any recommendations for a PC price that can run a game like Ready or Not? Um, I don't know exactly. But there is definitely like a... I'm pretty sure it's logarithmic scale to buying a PC. So it's like you can buy one for like 2,000 and it'll run like almost every game. But then you spend like 4,000 it's basically the same thing as a $2,000 one. It's like you don't really get that much more benefit the higher up you go. But going from like 1,000 to 2,000 is insane how much of a difference you get. I'm pretty sure it's logarithmic. So like, don't spend too little, but don't go crazy overboard. Not everyone needs a $10,000 PC, you know? Oh my god, I can't even hit drones right now. I would say, like, an ideal price point, I guess I'm talking Canadian dollars, is 2000 Canadian is how much you should probably spend, because then that PC will last you a long time, and you can run basically every game you want. He's on vending, by the way. Why does it sound like they're... It sounds like they're right next to me. I'm not crazy about that sound. Deej needs to figure their shit out. I shouldn't be hearing Hibana like she's inside of me. Oh. Oh, she was down. Fuse your bottom yellow. First thing I thought they were going to actually repel down Skylight again. the diffuser to my last breath. I was fully expecting my teammate to die, and then I was just gonna run away, because the bug didn't have time to get the fuser and plant. <sighs> Not a bad match. I did fall off a little bit in the middle. I think for like three rounds in a row, I got one kill total. But, good win. Gets us to silver two. Oh, next one we're not even go gonna go up a rank. It's just gonna be a pointless one. But we got ma we made some progress. That's good.